I will open the Centerville Town Council meeting for February the 13th, 2024, and it is 7 o'clock. Will you call the roll, please? David Kay. Here. Josh Tudor. Jack Boddicker. Here. Gary Holder. Here. Dan Wonder. Here. Has everyone gone over the minutes for January the 9th? 2024. Are there any additions, corrections? If not, I would entertain a motion to accept the minutes from January 9th. So moved. I have a motion by Gary. Do I have a second? A second. I have a second by David. Be called roll, please. David Case. Aye. Jack Bodeker. Aye. Gary Holbert. Aye. Dan Wondersing. Aye. Motion carried. Has everyone gone over the minutes for January 30th, 2024 uh, work session? Are there any additions or corrections to those? If not, I would entertain a motion to approve those. Motion summary. I got a motion by Jack. Do I have a second? A second. I have a second by David. We call the roll, please. David Kane. Aye. Jack Bonacher. Aye. Gary Hober. Aye. Dan Wondersee. Aye. Motion carried. Next item we have is the claims. Has everyone gone over those? Are there any questions on those? If not, I would entertain a motion to approve the claims. So moved. Got a motion by Gary. Do I have a second? A second. I have a second by David. Please call the roll, please. David Kate. Aye. Jack Bodeker. Aye. Gary Hobart. Aye. Dan Wonderstein. Aye. Has everyone gone over the billing adjustment? I would entertain a motion to accept the billing adjustment. Motion so made. I have a motion by Jack. Do I have a second? A second. I have a second by David. We call the roll, please. David K. Aye. Jack Buttaker. Aye. Gary Holbert. Aye. Dan Wonderstein. Aye. Motion carried. Main Street. Nope. Fair Road. Nope. Talk to me about Main CYL. Um, the Youth League has started its annual spring and summer registration and we have set our dates. We would like to ask approval to host our opening day parade on May 11th. It will run the usual route, line up along Blue and White Boulevard in front of the high school, down Little Grove and end at the Youth League. And what time? 11. We do not have a rain makeup day. Phil? I would entertain a motion uh, on this request for the Centerville Youth League to have their parade on May the 11th at 11 a.m. So moved. I have a motion by Gary. Do I have a second? A second. I have a second by David. Will you call the roll, please? David Kane. Aye. Jack Bodeker. Aye. Gary Holbert. Aye. Dan Wondersee. Aye. Motion carried. And then the other one is our annual fireworks. What we we've scheduled for June the 8th with Scaretti. He will be pulling the permit and providing it to the town. Those will happen as soon as it gets dark. So whatever time it's going to be dark at June 8th. <laughs> <laughs> so say by 10 p.m. would be the latest that they would start. Uh, is this, this the same one you've been using? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, they've done a really good job. Yep. And that as well, we don't have a rain date. It's a little difficult with spring, with sure. summer. So if it does rain out, we'll probably work with the high school to do something at homecoming, but we'll let you know. 
It's not going to rain just like it's going to be sunny on April 8th, right? <laughs> Is he going to be firing them off same location now yeah. that the new bus barn and everything's over there? Yeah, as far as we know, there's not been any um Issues. change there but if there is we will definitely notify you okay <coughs> that'll be my question too so we're good yeah he usually does it closer to the kicks field not yeah. right there at the so but we will make sure that he is communicated with the school okay i would entertain a motion on the request for the youth league to have their fireworks on june the 8th when it's dark I got a motion by David. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second by Jack. Be called the roll, please. David K. Aye. Jack Boddicker. Aye. Gary Holbert. Aye. Dan Wonderson. Aye. We just want to let the community know that our registration closes on March the 2nd. March the 2nd. Yep. So if anyone knows of the family that wants to make sure their children play this, uh, spring and summer that they need to be registered by the second. How's your uh, little league going? It's a work in progress. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely a lot of <coughs> tape and hoops, but we learned a lot last year. So this will be our year of knowing exactly what we're supposed to do. So we will only host one probably tournament during the, yeah. during it because Hagerstown got the state. So, but. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next item we have is ordinance 2024-01. Uh, this ordinance is to amend the town of Centerville zoning ordinance. And <clears throat> this is on second reading. We also want to stress that we did change some of the wording in the, and so I would entertain a motion uh, to read by title only. Uh, ordinance 2024 01. I make a motion. Got a motion by Gary. Do I have a second? A second. I have a second by David. Will you call the roll, please? David Kate. Aye. Jack Bodiker. Aye. Gary Holbert. Aye. Dan Wonderson. Aye. The other thing I have on that, I would entertain a motion to suspend the rules and regulation and move to third reading and adoption by title only. So moved. I have a motion by Gary. Do I have a second? A second. Got a second by David. We call the roll, please. David K. Aye. Jack Bodiker. Aye. Gary Holbert. Aye. Sam Wondersby. Aye. Motion carried. Will you read by title only, please? Ordinance number 2024-01. An ordinance to amend the Town of Centerville zoning ordinance and matters related to it. Police Department. Did everyone received my report for the month of January. Okay. The only thing that I really have tonight is the uh, last meeting we talked about the flock cameras I was looking into that and I've got a quote from them um, to get that started but I haven't had a chance to get with any alternative uh, source for some funding so I want to kind of hold off on that for at least one more month I just want to let you know where it's still with that okay Count Randy okay. Building Commission uh, we had Four permits for a total of $250, and we had seven code violations. Five were cleared without enforcement, and two of them are still open. Is there anything else underneath town general? Nope. Streets? Don't have anything. Okay. Water, fire, water. You want to do the fire first? Yep, it's up to you. That's up to you. So the fire department, um, John. Now, is there anything being stand on here? 
<laughs> no baskets. No baskets. Okay. He wants the Lord to stand. Well, if you're Lord to stand or raise me up, what do? <laughs> Whichever is easiest. Uh, <clears throat> I was contacted uh, by uh, Commissioner Holbert to make a small presentation. Small presentation. Uh, on behalf of uh, the town, the fire department, the community members, uh, for uh, Dennis Spears in recognition of his 45 plus years in service to the community. I might, might have dedicated, un uninterrupted, and selflessness dedication to the town of Centerville, to the fire department, and any other persons in, in Wayne County. I've known Chief Spears for the better part of 35 years, and I have never, ever, and in the short change anybody in any kind of a, of a request or an obligation or a, uh, a need for his assistance and or his department. Probably before that, uh, I could probably go back a few more years, but the latter part of 1978 or 79 was when he joined the Centerville Fire Department. And he, along with another great leader, brought the Centerville Fire Rescue to where it is today in today's standards. It is recognized as one of the most prolific and advanced departments in the state of Indiana. And that's not me saying that so much as it is, look at the record. In Wayne County, Centerville Fire Rescue under Dennis's leadership has initiated several different procedures and, and uh, uh, forms of serving the community, people by and large have sat back in the background in the shadows waiting for Centerville to do the things that they do on a regular basis, to wait and see how we did everything. And then when we ironed out all the potholes and bumps in the road, smoothed everything over, by golly, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> we just ought to do the same thing too. So they jumped on board and that brought the level of the, of the service in Wayne County to the level where it is right now. Thank Dennis Spears for that. Day and night, many times, many times, <coughs> without even getting any rest. And going into work the next day is his full-time job. Dennis was always there. It didn't make any difference if he just got out of the meeting at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night. Trust me, those were true, true times. When the page would go off, Dennis was there. Never heard of a bit of, of a argument, regret, bad feelings, or whatever you want to call it. He was there. Get back home, or maybe just to the station, go right back out again on their call, stay out all night long. All kinds of weather, all kinds of adverse conditions. And he was there to lead his department and give you as a community of Centerville the service that you so rightly deserve. So I could talk for the rest of the night on my, my best friend, <laughs> Dennis Spears. I might add that, you know, uh, we currently have a grant in for uh, to do some upgrading and rehab to the fire station. One of those things is a training room, and we'll find out in the next few days uh, if we get this grant to do this work. And if we do, uh, we would like to dedicate, you know, the council uh, that training room to Dennis Spears. Uh, and have a you know, plaque put in there in his honor. Keep him and the family in your prayers. Uh, they need it real bad. Uh, you know, it's uh, something that you know, really hurts to see him dwindle that way. So, Well, I might add that Dennis has been struck a devastating blow. Like everybody here who knows Dennis, 
he will he will lay down and take it. He'll be back up. He'll be fighting, and he'll be back among us again. So, like Dan said, keep him in your prayers and the family. Heaven knows prayers do prayers do work under wonders. I also want to say that he spearheaded the ISO uh, requirements to be superseded by the Centerville Fire Rescue to bring the whole entire community a better rating on their insurance, which, give, which gives them uh, a, a lower premium. We currently have, I think, a class four rating, which is practically unheard of in the volunteer fire service. So that's just one of the many things that he's done for this community. So I, I, like I said, I could talk forever, but I'm gonna keep, keep it right there and, and uh, keep him in your prayers, please. I appreciate it, John, for doing that for us. Thanks, John. Your turn. My turn? Okay. Um, 25th, we did experience our fourth main break of the year. It was a complete rupture of the line and repaired. Everything's back up and going well. I do have working on the scheduling for the VSP on Pump Fort Booster Station. That's about all I got into. Water, unless you have anything for me. While we're on the water, though, uh, I do need you guys uh, on February the 20th at 7 p.m. We will have a special council meeting, so make sure you our Mark that down uh, here on this water project. And uh, this is for the notice of bid openings. This is for the bid openings. Then on the 21st of February at 7 p.m. here at the council room, we will also have a special meeting. And this is notice of intent to make a preliminary award of the bid subject uh, available if, uh, if we get the funds. So mark those two days down. We do need you here. It should be, shouldn't be a long meeting. That's the only business that we will be conducting uh, on that so we can move forward. Oh, yeah, third meeting. Yeah, well, I was, oh. Waiting on it. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, wastewater, stormwater? We're still working with Lock Mueller on the Means Road Lift Station, working out some of the details, getting ready to present the plan to NDOT's engineers for their approval or denial. Not all I got under wastewater or strong water. Anything else here? I don't think so. <coughs> yeah. Okay, electric. Uh. Okay. Um, I can tell you that the Matty Harris project is almost completed. Yeah. We did hook everybody up to the 12K today and we are well yesterday we hooked them up today we started taking the old lines down everyone is on the 12th day now now all i need to know is what funds we're going to pay this out of richard I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that one in the pocket open up your open up your wallet well, i'm not going to say anything <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Who's paying? Who's paying for it? 
Who's paying what for our 12K update? The manager. Where, where would that money be coming from? <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> What's it called? The input fund. Um, we can pull a little bit out of our dedicated service fund. And the rest of it's going to have to come out of probably the electric reserve. Right. How much is the total cost on that again? Um, to date, I have $166,108. There's going to be a couple more outstanding come in, I believe. Well, we have to pay the bill. I'll try my best. <laughs> I hear the cry, but I'll try. We'll work on which fund yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll cross it. Okay. Okay. Now, we need to work on an audit and come up with some numbers for a poll attach agreement. And I'm going to ask that you allow me up to $20,000 to spend in doing that and pick the firm and be able to sign a letter of commitment to start the project because we are on kind of a timeline on getting this done so we can move forward with the request. And yeah, we're running into this. Uh, we had this discussion a little bit, uh, you know, back a year or so ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and the more that these uh, internet fiber optics and all these start coming in here, uh, we're spending a lot of money trying to, I guess, satisfy all these agencies with what the cost should be for pole attachments. And we can't keep doing this any longer. We got to get this, you know, get this firm and get this set in stone. And that way everybody's on equal footing. So I would entertain a motion on that request. <clears throat> Up to what you say? Up to twenty thousand. And allow me, allow me to sign the commitment. Allow me to make that motion. I got a motion by Gary. <clears throat> Do I have a second? A second. I have a second by David. Will you call the roll, please? David King. Aye. Jack Boddicker. Aye. Gary Holbert. Aye. And Dan Mothersby. Aye. Motion carried. And I am working with a company i'm waiting on a cost estimate from them to come in and do a full audit of our complete system that way we will have the numbers readily available and we can update them as we go so the next full attachment agreement that comes in we shoot them the numbers they shoot us back the cost and once i get those numbers i'll bring that to you and present it because the way it stands now, our inventory is pretty outdated. And I'll get that and bring it back to you when I have it. Okay. I'm glad to report we had no power outages last month Good. outside of the scheduled outages for the upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's all I got unless you have anything for me. No. Uh, one thing I want, since we're elected to, is I don't know if everyone's aware of, you know, some the sheriff in Butler County went to the thing for the sheriff, all the sheriffs over the United States and with the, at the FBI. And then our sheriff, when he came back, uh, he disputed what the sheriff from Butler County, Ohio was saying about the intimate threat uh, that he didn't see any, and so did the Richmond police chief. Uh, I have passed out because I get these daily uh, because I sat on the board and was, you had to sign up, have a background check to get these. But what he has, what the Butler County Sheriff uh, has said, uh, is 100% I think correct and I've given you the paperwork that kind of backs that up plus there was a news article come out and 
I'll read what uh, Way said, which was what said the advisory comes just weeks after FBI Director Christopher Way warned a congressional hearing that China Communist Party, the CCP, posted a cyber threat to America homeland and national security. Way said there has been far too little public focus <clears throat> on the fact that the RPC, the People's Republic of China, hackers are targeting our critical infrastructure. Our water treatment plants, our electrical grid, our oil and our natural gas pipelines are all transmission systems and the risk that poses to every American requires our attention now. China hackers are positioning uh, in, on American infrastructure to you know, wreak havoc and cause real world harm to American citizens and community if or when China decides the time has come to strike. That's directly from him and believe me, any of these systems go down, I don't care if it's out in California or where. Texas is the only electric company that's not on the grid. They have their own separate one. Everybody else is on the grid. And if certain things go down in the grid, it's gonna affect us here in Wayne County, depending on where it's at. And if they hit multiple places, it will really be bad. And so I, I'm giving you a warning too. We've talked about this several times before. Uh, and these reports that I get, they came from the Electrical Information Sharing and Analysis Center of the federal government. And you'll read in there what they say about China. And I just printed you off the one before I came to the council meeting, uh, which again, stresses just what we read here. So I didn't want to, you know, not trying to scare anybody, but we do need to be prepared. And it is, it's not, will it happen? It's when it's going to happen. And so I just wanted to make you all aware of that. Also, NDOT and Indiana State Police encourage drivers to plan ahead for upcoming solar, uh, which will be in April 8th. And I gave you a copy of this, but uh, you can go to NDOT and our Indiana State Police website and get this. This is about, about three pages. It tells you, you know, when it gets dark and with the number of people, they're expecting 100,000 here in Wayne County. Uh, in addition to our regular citizens. So there's gonna be a lot of traffic, a lot of things going on and they have, you know, how to prepare before the eclipse, during the eclipse and after. And uh, so, you know, I think you need to take a look at that because this is a once in a lifetime thing. Who knows? So, clerk, got anything? No, take care of it. So. Anybody else got anything else? Then I would entertain a motion to adjourn this council meeting. So moved. Got a motion by David. I've got a question. Do you intend to call that meeting for 27 tonight or later? I, I, pretty much what I thought I did, but. I didn't know if you did. I, I wasn't there. I wasn't there for me. You mean for the 27th? 27th, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that will be another special meeting uh, that we will use uh, be on the rate ordinance uh, for the water. And that's right there at our regular work session, so. Well, that's right, I'm sorry. That's at your work session. That's why I didn't, <laughs> before the regular <laughs> work session. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay, let me go back. Did I have a motion? Have a motion. And David, do I have a second? No one's second. That's good. He was killed in the field here. Can you call the roll, please? David Kay. Aye. 
Jack Boddicker. Aye. Gary Holbert. Aye. And Dan Wonderson. Aye. Motion carried. We thank you for coming.